Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I wanted to show off and give out four random utilities that I make, that I made, that I use on a daily basis for music production. Uh, these are all Ableton audio uh, devices, like audio, what are they called? <laughs> audio groups, audio effect tracks. Um, I'm going to be using them. I use them for all of my uh, production stuff and they're so useful. Um, I have a real quick little um, loop here that uses them all in some way, shape, or form. And I'll go ahead and play it off real quick. It's not very good. I made it in like five minutes, but either way, I think it's pretty fun to show off. So, starting off, we had the four on the floor side chain. This is just a random side chain, just a basic. You know, basic side chain that you that you use on most tracks that have a four on the floor pattern, or just a uh, straight kick pattern. Uh, examples are like house, um, mid tempo, dubstep stuff like that. Um, so this has four settings: a one bar, half bar, quarter bar, and eighth bar setting. And all it does is literally side chain it to those specific settings. So one bar like right here. Half bars right here. Quarter bar. And eighth bar. Pretty basic, pretty cool though. Works really well. Um, you can also change the actual shape of the side chain through this shaper plugin right here. I can just do this if I want to. Or I can do like this. Whatever I want to do, whatever you want to do, you know? Whatever you'd like. And you also just do this if you want to. Oop, oopsie. Come on, please don't do this. I don't like Shaper that much. Anyways, then do this up here if you want to. You know, some, something like that. Whatever you want. Just mess around with it, you know? Do your own thing. Next up we have, let's see, is it on here or not? It is the split bands dry wet knob i'll show off and last um split bands is basically a band splitter it's let's well, go ahead and put off on track real quick it splits the bands into a mid high or sorry lows mids and highs and you can set this up however you'd like and just really easily add some effects on the side so you can you know add some effects just on the high mid and lows or just you know change the input and output of each uh change the the volume of each uh, basically like a three band EQ more or less uh, here good example is that I have this redux going on on the highs and mids of this bass right here I don't want the bass to be muddled up by a bit crusher but I do want to use it on the high end without it it sounds like this with it sounds like this and if it was without if it wasn't on the uh, it was just on the whole thing it sounds like this might have delayed a little bit too much for me, so I prefer to have it on the mids and highs only. So that's what I use that effect arc for. It's really nice to have, and it's just a nice little utility to have for whenever you're trying to um, add effects on certain uh, bands of the sound. Next up is the volume randomizer. Volume randomizer is being used on this hi hat pattern right here. Since it's a loop, I can't really use a volume randomizer, or I can't really use um, velocity. A randomizer to change the velocity of this other notes, but I can use the volume randomizer, randomizer to do the exact same thing. So, with it sound like this. You can hear it changes volume slightly each time it plays. Um, it also has different settings. A one bar all the way down to a 30 second bar. Um, the reason I have so many on here is because it's probably going to be used for a lot more um, a lot, you know, a lot more often if you're going to be doing randomization than if you were to use a side chain. So, you know, say I wanted to have a 30 second bar. It changes mid, it changes uh, the volume mid uh, hit, so I don't want to use that. With a eighth bar, it works just fine. And you can open it up and change any parameters like in there, or it does have a rate, depth, offset, and smooth if you want to change 
the depth, I'd recommend not going above 50. But if you do want to go crazy with it, you can. But I prefer to keep it around 30 or 25. Uh, every one of these is set to 25%. With the offset at zero and smooth at zero. Smooth is good for using like pads or something like that, and you want to have a smoothing effect to it, but still change the volume up, up and down. Or change anything up and down, but volume is what we're using right here for. Um, next up and last up is the dry wet knob. So, dry wet knob is a chain effect. Uh, it, all it does is you can see the map right here, and let's hide that. Um, you can actually just, all it does is, oh, come on, there we go. All it does is have a dry wet knob for whatever effect you're trying to use. So with this one, technically has a dry wet knob already, but if you don't have a dry wet knob on a certain effect, you can always just use the dry wet knob right here. And that's what the point is for this, is just have a dry wet knob really easily accessible. So without it, at 0%, at 100%, and around 25%. And it sounds great. So those are all the effects that I have. They're just very basic and they're main, mainly utilitarian. They're not necessarily made to be their own effects. They're just made to help out with some, you know, just some production, makes some things easier. So link will be in the description to download these. I hope you all enjoyed. It is completely free to download, so feel free to download them or make them on your own if you want to. Feel free, I don't mind either way. I just wanted to show off some cool tricks that I, that I use on a daily basis. So thank you guys so much. You all have a great day. See you all soon. Peace out.